Want to listen to some tunes? What is up guys, my name is Chase and these are my hands. I finally received my copy of the Super Mario Bros movie soundtrack on cassette tape in the mail a couple days ago. The company I Am 8-Bit did a physical release of the Super Mario Bros movie soundtrack. They have a CD version, a vinyl version, as well as this cassette tape version. And I've recently been dabbling in cassette tapes, so I thought it would be cool to get the Super Mario Bros movie soundtrack on cassette. And just last night, I popped this cassette tape into my little boombox and I listened to it. So I thought I would make this video just to kind of talk about it. I think the Super Mario Bros. movie has one of the best movie soundtracks from a gamer's perspective. Obviously, since this movie is based on Super Mario Brothers, it's going to have so many of the tracks that we have come to know and love from the Mario games. And the movie definitely delivers on just overloading you with an incredible score that includes little snippets from a bunch of classic Mario games. So yeah, I feel like if there is any movie soundtrack that I sort of feel really attached to, it's probably going to be this one because, you know, it's freaking Mario. So yeah, I guess looking at the physical product itself, we have the Mario movie like poster here on the front. There's a look at the side with the little label. And interestingly enough, with the I Am 8-bit release of the soundtrack, for both the vinyl as well as the cassette tapes, you get a random selection of color. So for the cassette tape, you'll either get a red or green tape. And lucky me, I ended up with the red one. Let's go. <laughs> we have the little track listing here for side one and side two. I don't know, whenever I see this, it reminds me of like Blink-182's Enema of the State. But anyway, it's this matte red finish. Looks really nice. You know, it sort of matches Mario, of course. But now we can pop this guy open. I mean, the tape itself. Oh no, my tape has a crack in it. That's so bad. I mean, for the most part, it's just a standard looking cassette tape. We have Koji Kondo credited on here, which is nice. I mean, for the most part, this probably isn't a cassette where I'm like going to actively listen to it all the time. Like, I don't know, I probably won't be driving around to the Mario soundtrack. But hey, the score is just super awesome. It gets me so hyped. I especially love the final battle scene. I think the music is just awesome. That's the one part where I actually cried in the movie theater watching. And then, of course, we also get our little insert here. If we open it up, we have the the Mario and Luigi plumber poster. And so this insert pretty much just gives credits, which I mean, I like when cassette tapes actually have some, you know, actual content inside of the inserts. But I mean, I guess this is nice, just giving credits and thanks to everyone. So that's what the insert looks like, you know, just very basic. Now that's everything with the actual physical product. When I actually listened to this cassette tape, there were quite a few things that sort of stuck out to me. The main sort of issue that I think I have with this release is, for whatever reason, I don't know if this is because of I Am 8-Bit or whatever, but they completely changed the track listing for this soundtrack. And at first I wasn't sure if it was like, you know, they had to change it just so that they could fit it on a cassette tape, which I mean could actually be the reason why they had to change the track listing. But when I looked on I Am 8-Bit's website, they actually changed the track listing for all of the releases, including the CD and vinyl. And there are actually quite a few drastic changes made to this track listing, which by the way, I'm comparing it to the digital release of the Super Mario Bros movie soundtrack. It might be impossible to read this on camera, but they did move around tracks in the track listing. For example, the Super Mario Bros opus, I believe in like the official digital version, is very early. I think it's either like track two or three, but on here it's not until you switch over to side two of the tape. Which I mean, I guess maybe they did that so that when you flip the sides, it starts off with like the Super Mario Bros like, you know, big music. But I think honestly one of the biggest disappointments is that they actually took out a bunch of tracks from the track listing, one of which includes the actual Super Mario Brothers rap, which is really weird because when you open up the insert, they give credit for the Mario Brothers rap here. But yeah, the actual track just is not on this cassette tape. From what I've seen on their website, it's also not on the CD or the vinyl releases. And that's just one of the tracks that they took out. They actually took out more than just one. So I don't know, it's very weird the sort of changes to the track listing that they made for this physical release. I wonder if it was like a licensing thing with I am 8-bit or something. I could also see it possibly being an issue where they couldn't fit all of the tracks on the cassette tape and, you know, they just wanted to make it equal across all of the physical releases. So they just made all of the physical releases the same track listing as the cassette tape. I don't know, but I just thought it was very weird the sort of changes in the track listing with moving the positions of songs or just completely excluding some songs. It is a bit of a bummer because, you know, obviously if you get this physical release, you aren't getting like the true sound 
soundtrack as it was meant to be heard, I guess. But hey, I mean, I think this is just a cool novelty item, if anything. But anyway, that's just a quick little look at the Super Mario Bros. movie soundtrack on cassette tape, as well as my thoughts on actually listening to it. I mean, I think it's really cool and like fun that we have a cassette tape of this soundtrack. It actually reminds me a lot of like buying Thomas the Tank Engine songs on cassette tape when I was a kid. So yeah, if anything, I'm just glad that I Am 8-Bit actually did a physical release of the soundtrack, even though the track listing is a little bit messed up. But let me know in the comments if you guys got this I Am 8-Bit release of the Super Mario Bros. movie soundtrack. If you want to hear me talk more about Mario games, feel free to check out the video below. For now, thank you so much for watching. My name is Chase, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.